हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू इंडिया लार्जेस्ट लाइव लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म ग्रेडअप ग्रेडअप है तो सही प्रफ है सही प्रफ है तो लाइव सेट है एंड वेलकम टू द कैप्स्यूल सीरीज टूडेज कैप्स्यूल नंबर फाइव इज डिस्क रोटेशन सी एल वी एंड सी ए वी लेट इज लर्न वॉट इज दिस before that this is quick detail about me you may join my telegram group if you have any doubts queries suggestions now in the previous capsules i have discussed how hard disk function how the sector is numbered and addressed so by chance if you have missed them you will get them in the grade up gate channel so don't forget to refer the previous capsules also don't forget to like the session share it and subscribe to our grade up gate channel how hard disk function we have understood in that we have got that every hard disk will have platters each platter each platter has two recording surfaces and each surface is partitioned into equal number of tracks and each track is partitioned into equal number of sectors this is what hard disk behavior now we will get the doubt we know there is innermost track there is outermost track just give me a moment hmm. let's say this is outermost track we will get a doubt that the innermost track is very small outermost track is big how innermost and outermost both tracks will have same number of sectors both will have same number of sectors this is the case in hard disk but will this be same in every disk no so the capacity of track all the tracks whether same or not depends on how the disk surface is organized and accordingly how this disk rotation takes place so it is not same for every disk it depends on how the surface is organized and how the rotation happens so what are the possible rotations any disk can be rotated or organized in two modes they are constant linear velocity constant angular velocity so clv cav means linear velocity and angular velocity 
CLV will be there in optical discs. Even floppy disk. But CAV will be there in magnetic disk. So in CD, DVD, Blu-ray disk, CLV rotation in hard disk, CAV rotation. How does this differ? Suppose this is the surface of the platter which is mounted over spindle. If it is a constant linear velocity, the innermost track will have less number of sectors. The next track will have more number of sectors. The next track will have even more number of sectors. Something like this. And the next track will have even more number of sectors. So based on the track capacity, this CLV works. But if you take CAV, each will have equal number of sectors. So if the innermost track is having four sectors, let's say every track will have same number of sectors. So you observe the difference. The gap between the tracks in the outermost track is huge. The gap between the sectors. In the innermost track, that is very less. Right? So, this is how you can understand how it works. This is constant linear velocity. This is constant angular velocity. So, you see how many sectors in the innermost track in constant linear velocity. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In the next track, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In the next track, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, so here uniform track capacity. Isn't it? Uniform track capacity. But here you observe in the innermost track you have let's say three sectors. In the next track we are having five sectors. In the next we are having even more. So, here we are having in the constant linear velocity non-uniform track capacity. So, in where we are having the varying density, whenever you keep the density same, then definitely capacity changes. Whenever you are changing the density, then the capacity doesn't alter. So, where the capacity is the same in CAV, in CAV rotated disc and where density is different. So, in hard disc which follows CAV, recording density is less in outermost track and high in innermost track. Less, less area, more volume. That is what density, right? Mass per volume. So, where we have more density in the innermost track. This is having high density 
this is having less density okay we will see some questions based on this before that these are the courses for 2022 and 2023 gate aspirants in both hindi and english mediums you can see you will be getting live classes mock tests chapter wise study notes practice questions that too many for every chapter you will get 100 plus 120 plus mock tests so you will get everything that is needed to crack your gate exam so why let take super subscription to get the lectures from the expert faculty and reach your goal okay so now let us have some example based on this the example goes in this way a disc has eight equidistant tracks the diameters of the innermost and outermost tracks are 1 and 8 respectively the innermost track capacity is 20 mb then then the total data on the disc if it is used with a drive that rotates in cav mode is cav means varying capacity fixed uh, varying capacity fixed density isn't it varying capacity fixed density so we can say for <coughs> innermost track that is the first track what is the diameter 1 cm and the capacity is 20 mb so if the innermost track with 1 cm diameter has 20 mb then the second track diameter will be 2 cm then its capacity will be 40 mb third track diameter will be 3 cm capacity accordingly changes to 60 mb fourth track diameter will be 4 capacity will be 80 mb right so fifth track 5 cm 100 mb in the same way sixth track 6 cm 120 mb seventh track 7 cm 140 mb and it is given the outermost eighth track 8 cm 160 mb so total eight tracks so what is the total disk capacity for uh, 20 plus 40 plus 60 plus 80 plus 100 plus 120 plus 140 plus 160 that will come to 720 mb got it because it is constant linear velocity if the same question is asked same data with constant angular velocity we know in constant angular velocity fixed track capacity with varying density so every track size is same irrespective of its diameter so first track size is a uh, first track capacity is 20 mb each track will have same capacity as it is cav hence total size of the hard disk will be how many tracks are there in the hard disk 
every track capacity is same that is 20 MB so that would be 160 MB got it so this is how we can understand the disc rotations CLV CAV that's all for this capsule in the next capsule we will see some gate questions five model gate questions of secondary memory so stay tuned keep waiting for the next capsule i hope you like this capsule this is our grade up gate hall of fame year to year our grade up students are getting very good ranks in good number in 2021 under top 10 10 plus grade to grade up students are there so take super subscription at the earliest and enjoy all the structured live courses by the best faculty get all your doubts resolved also you will get the green card access okay so see you in the next class before you leave don't forget to like the session share it and subscribe to our grade up gate channel this is my telegram group you may join for doubts queries and suggestions by me okay thank you guys don't forget to like share and subscribe See you in the next capsule. Till then, have a great day. Bye-bye.